Welcome to another edition of TechCast. Our guest today is Art Gilliland, CEO at Delinear. Welcome, Art. Anita, thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. It's a pleasure talking to you today. Art, let's begin with Delinear and the story of how it began and where it is now. Yeah, so it, Delinea was really born out of a conversation I was having with our current cha chairman. Right. Uh, and we were talking about what is, you know, what part of security do I think is, uh, has the biggest opportunity and is the most interesting. Right. Um, and so there's uh, two places where I think mm. uh, security is uh, is really ex expanding in, in a different way. And right. identity security is is one of those. And, and so Delinea is very focused on that identity right. security space. Right. And so part of the reason that identity security, I think, is so relevant mm. in, in the market today is if you look at what customers are doing in terms of how they're evolving from on-premise, you know, mm. self-managed infrastructure mm. to cloud uh, to SaaS. Right. They're they're in this journey across mm. the a board, mm. across those the different places. If you if you look at the controls, the security controls right. that you have when you're on-prem, mm. you own everything. You control it all. Correct. In cloud, it's shared. You own Correct. some, and the the uh, the cloud providers own some. And in SaaS, you're basically trusting your vendor to do it all. Correct. And they're just telling you what they're doing. Correct. But the, the, the one thing you own across all of those three is your users, right. right? And so you can set policy on users in your own environment, you can set policy on your users in the cloud environment, and you can set policy on the users. And so identity security is that setting policy on the users. And so Delinea was formed based on that sort of vision of right. how do I make sure that customers have a centralized way to be able to set policy and really manage and secure the users' interactions, in, no matter where those interactions are happening, whether it's in your own data centers, in your own infrastructure, in cloud, or in SaaS. Mm -hmm. And so that's uh, that's what we set out to build, and that's what how we started the business. Absolutely. Now, uh, everyone talks about identity security, and you know, as, very as hot something right now. that's very cornerstone, and that's important. Mm -hmm. But how much awareness do you actually think there is about the relevance of identity security and the need to actually... Yeah. Uh, build a robust identity security framework. Yeah, I think it's evolving. I mean, mm. the reality is, is I think right now it's 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 very mm. much in the view right. of, of our customers right. and the, the companies right. that are out there. Mm. I think if you think about what they've done historically, they sort of right. took care of the basics, mm. secure your endpoints, mm. secure your network, right. secure your systems. Right. And I think what uh, what they realize and those and those products that people have deployed are pretty good. And so what's happened is the bad guy, the adversary, mm. has realized that if I steal a password, right. uh, it's way easier to just uh, steal a password and, and log in than it is to break in. So the right. bad guys don't break in anymore. They, right. they basically log in. And there's two benefits to that for them. Mm. So just from a bad mm. guy perspective, mm. one, it's way easier and cheaper for them right. to steal passwords and log in because hmm. uh, the other products are pretty good and they get caught a lot. Right. And so this right. is a very effective and very cheap way to do it. Hmm. The other reason is if you log in using a real credential, right. you're invisible to the hmm. rest of the security hmm. controls and the security protections that are there. Right. And so it has the benefit of being cheaper and then you're in there for a long time. So hmm. you're invisible. And so the adversary is really focused on that. And I think if you look across all of the different breaches that have happened, something like the 92% or something like that of all breaches have a privilege, some sort of credential theft, some sort of privilege elevation. Right, right. And so customers now are realizing, okay, I've built some of the basics, endpoint and network and others. And now that next thing I need to really lock down is my users. Um, and so that combination of the bad guys focusing on it, the fact that the infrastructure has gone from cloud to SaaS and other things, user protection and that user identity is like a big part of uh, what people are thinking about today. Absolutely. Now, AI, let's come to AI, which is like... It's the big talk everywhere it's now. the big talk okay. everywhere. AI everything. Absolutely. Now, AI is everywhere and people are still trying to make sense of, you know, yeah. where and what and how. So how do you think AI helps identity security and yeah. its uh, evolution? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I think a good way to talk about this is sort of how we are thinking about AI right, as right. a company. Hmm. So obviously I'm the CEO of the business and right. so I care about the products and I care about hmm. how we service our hmm. customers, but I also want to make our business more effective. Hmm. And so if you think about sort of how Delinea is approaching AI, we're just experimenting hmm. a lot, right? Because right. the reality is, is it's so hmm. new and we're still trying to figure out how it's going to change hmm. us. Hmm. And so we, we use AI today to try to 
be more productive. So whether right. it's in engineering or HR mm -hmm. or our own internal systems, we're using AI. Right. And I think that's very similar to most of my customers. Right. And so uh, if I'm uh, now looking at it from the customer side and how, right. how can Delinea help our customers, right. I think there's two ways we invest in AI on that side. One is to use AI to make my product more effective and mm. more efficient. Right? And so one of the promises we make to our customers is, is that the product helps you be more secure and also that it's easy to use and intuitive. And so we've built capabilities within the product to mm. make it easier to use. Mm. Uh, one of those is called Delinea Expert. Mm. It's like uh, ChatGPT for Delinea right. and it's trained on our information and our documents. And so you can ask it questions. And we found that when customers are using that, they call our customer support engineers 60% less. Okay, right. So a huge benefit for Delinea, obviously, but also a huge benefit for them because their problems are getting solved faster. Absolutely. And so that's like the simple thing. Hmm. All the way to things uh, like our intelligent authorization right. capabilities right. where uh, it looks at a bunch of requests to be able to log into systems, mm -hmm. uses, a con uses context from mm -hmm. the customer's environments mm -hmm. to make decisions. And the reason that's valuable is typically those decisions would have to be sat with a human. Right. And so you would only do the most extreme requests because mm. you couldn't look at every single request. Right. But now our system can look at every single request from the simple to right. the very sophisticated mm. and make a more educated decision on whether mm. it should be allowed or not. Mm. And so I think there's some of that. That makes the customers more mm. secure and it also makes the product easier to use. Mm. And then the last thing that is important for our mm. uh, customers anyways in there is mm. they're also adopting AI. They're right. building agents. Mm. They're trying to figure out how to use it, mm. hoping that it'll uh, add some value to their business. Right. And th so there's a lot of experimentation going on. But if you're the security person, you need to know what, what's happening because mm. now a bunch of human credentials are getting put into AI. And so there's an right. Art Gilliland who's logged in, but there's right. also Art Gilliland's bot who might be doing stuff mm -hmm. for him. And so you wanna be able to control and manage that. Right. You wanna be able to identify those things. You mm -hmm. wanna be able to secure those uh, credentials so that you don't have uh, a bunch of mess, uh, essentially. And so being able to then scan the environment, find mm. AI, that's using credentials, be able to log mm. and, and uh, control those credentials and that privilege that they have. And so those are really the things that I see that's changing. One is how we drive our business mm. and make it more mm. effective, just like our customers are. Right. Uh, the Making the product, uh, help the product sort of drive it a mm. better experience and right. more effectiveness, right. but then also helping our customers secure their use of AI. Right. That has nothing to do with my products, but has, has to do with the problems that they're trying to solve. They just mm. need it to be more secure. And so that's that's how we're investing in it. Right, so it's more intelligent. I mean, artificial Yeah, some of it's intelligence. Yeah, yeah, some of yeah. it's intelligence. Some of it is just, I gotta, it's it's normal security stuff. It's Correct. just a new Correct. platform. platform. Like platform. security is a new platform. It's mm. just like when mm. they invested in cloud or they, is right. they had uh, needed a bunch of new tools. This is just a tool that they're gonna use to secure this new thing that they're gonna use. And that Absolutely. new thing just happens to be AI right now. Right, right. And as far as Delinea is concerned, what is your focus going to be going forward? I mean, yeah. as far as cybersecurity, AI, identity security, as far as all of these go, yeah. what's going to be Delinea's focus? Yeah, so we're very focused on mm. uh, securing identities and helping mm. customers have a single place where they can manage all of their identity mm. problems. So obviously there's, in our business, there's the IT admin who right. needs access to the critical systems right. and that's right. you're protecting and managing mm -hmm. their passwords and their access and their infrastructure. We also have the workforce, so broader employees that are doing that and, mm. and sort of securing their laptops, securing their access to cloud, securing their access to those things. A big area uh, in the future is machine identities. Obviously that what makes machine identities really exciting and sexy now is AI. Uh, and so that is evolving massively. There's mm. traditional APIs and service accounts, which has been around for a long time, right. which our product does. But now there's you know new things that are more related to um, AI, like MCP. Mm. Uh, and so there's and all of those things are going to have uh, an identity and need a unique identity so you can manage and secure them. Mm. And then the last area is developers. Right. So IT admins, workforce, mm. Mm. machine identities, and developers. Um, we're looking to be a single platform that can manage all of that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And identity security for companies looking to focus and go forward in yeah. identity security, what do you think are some of the 
key things that they should keep in mind or what are some of the pain points and what are some of the good things that they should keep yeah, in mind? Yeah, I think if you look at what our customers mm. try to do first, the first thing they're trying to do is just discover and find what exists in their environment. Okay. And so if you're starting without having anything today, mm. the first step is find all of, find all of it, centralized management, and mm. then set policy. And so right. that's usually step one that our customers go mm. through. Uh, so capture all these privilege accounts, bring them into a central location, mm -hmm. and then manage them directly. Mm -hmm. The second thing they're trying to do is eliminate as many of the mm -hmm. privileged accounts that exist out there mm -hmm. and make the access just in time. So right. as a user, I don't have my a, a password mm -hmm. for this thing and a different right. one for that and right. a different one for this over. Right. I'm actually only getting access when I need it. And I'm only given enough access to do the work that I have to mm -hmm. do. And that's mm -hmm. very controlled. Mm -hmm. And that's usually step two right. for customers. So. Mm -hmm. Find it all, centralize it, then re like limit mm. what people are able to do. Right. And then you get into the next stage of sort of maturity or evolution, which right. is around analytics and really making it more intelligent. And I think that's sort of the, the aspirational future. Okay. I would say 95% of our customers do the first one. Right. Uh, that the next 40% sort of move to beyond that first stage into right. stage two. Right. And then a much smaller percentage actually move into what I would say the full sort of evolution of being intelligent and having uh, a lot more automation around how that right. works. Now I come to a very interesting and very exciting question that I've been wanting to ask. Like going forward, let's say fast forward 10 years from now. Yeah. Where do you see identity management and yeah. identity security uh, at that point? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot more of our environment is mm. going to be automated, right? right? And so I think there's going to be a lot more sort of augmentation for humans. So I think mm. this is, again, I know there's a lot of hype around AI, mm. but the just the, the massive amounts of change that mm. I've seen in the last six months within our own business's use of mm. AI, um, I, I'm a believer. I, I, it right. is going to change the way we work. And what that means, though, for companies is that they're going to need to have a a more centralized view and policy centric way right. of providing access to these systems. Right. Um, and the rate the reason I say that is if you look at way the way API connections work today. Mm -hmm. So this so piece of software wants to talk to that piece of software. Right. They talk through uh, an interface, uh, like an app, what's called an application programming right. interface, mm -hmm. an API. Mm -hmm. Usually what happens is it's given access to the entire API. So I, I get a credential, I log in, I can do the 50 things that that API lets me do. Right. In an AI world, you are not gonna want that. Right. You're gonna, right. Wanna, you're gonna wanna do just in time because right. you're gonna wanna know why does this autonomous thing wanna talk to that? And I should only allow it to do that. And you're not gonna want this autonomous thing that will need to talk to these three things today mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. these other two tomorrow mm -hmm. to have open access to all of that, you're gonna right. wanna control that. And so I think companies 10 years from now are gonna have a lot of their environment run that way. Mm -hmm. And so they're gonna need a very fast and very sort of uh, context driven and intelligent way to provide access because if a human is in the way of always having to decide, yes, you can, no, you Correct. can't, yes, Correct. you can, no, you can't, mm -hmm. all of that won't work. Right. And so, you're going to have a lot more autonomy, a lot more decision, like autonomous decision making in your technology, right. Right. in your control situations, mm -hmm. but also in the way your systems operate. That's that's what I think the the world's going to look like. And it's probably not going to be 10 years. It's probably going to be five, four years where yeah. that's going to happen. Probably, and I think we're going to see AI, the I think it's we're already happen. seeing the emergence of it in our own business today. Okay. Um, and, I, you know, agents are starting to be built today. Are those agents going to be the same? Is the framework going to be the same exactly. as it is five years from now? Exactly. Probably not. Mm. Um, but the end goal is going to be the same. Mm. A lot more autonomous thinking, a lot mm. more sort of actions taken by a machine to do and make decisions. And I think the control frameworks right. like mine right. are going to have to be autonomous in the same way. Otherwise, right. it'll slow the whole thing down. Absolutely. I think the conversation around AI and identity security could just... It's, just, it's, it's, could it's just expanding for... It's and and candidly, the reality is we're all making it up. Correct. We don't really know. Correct. Because uh, it's like right on the bleeding edge. Correct. And so you have to experiment. And Correct. so Absolutely. there's a ton of experimentation that I see right. in my customers' environments. Not a lot of success yet. Correct. I think there's elements of success. You start to see the, the right. sort of the fruit of, uh -huh. of some of this labor. But I think 
it's happening and changing so fast Absolutely. that I think, you know, a year from now, it's going to be a really different conversation. I was just going to say that a year from now, yeah. we're probably going to talk very differently and it's going to be a different focus completely. Exactly. Well, I mean, I think so. what's interesting today is in the marketing. So obviously every company has to say AI in it. But the reality is, is any AI I build into my product, it's just a feature. Right. You, it right. Should, I, you shouldn't care. It's just, it's, we help you do this faster. We help you make Absolutely. it autonomous. We help you automate it. Absolutely. Um, but at the core of sort of the skill of the sort of the back end, it's going to be models, AI models, or uh, sort of automation that happens in the product that makes it better. But we won't have to talk about AI a year from now. It'll just Absolutely. be something that's just a, a known thing that's in there. Absolutely. I think we'll just have to wait and watch how it all unfolds. I, all I love it. That's out. why I've been doing this for 30 years. I think Absolutely. it's super exciting and I can't wait. And you gave us some really solid, valuable insights oh, into all, the whole uh, security ecosystem. Oh, that's so, very nice of you to say. But it was so good talking to you. Thank you so much for taking the it time. It was nice talking to you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. I appreciate Pleasure. it. Thank, yeah. you, Thank, Thank you. Thank you.